Namaste, Saraswati Devi, Gauravani Prashadi Devi, Nirvishesha Samjavani, Pashacha Deshatwari Devi. Namaste, Saraswati Devi, Gauravani Prashadi Devi, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेमा प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौरक्षिसे भगवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय इतदाले कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय तवई वास्मि तवई वास्मि न जीवामि कया इति विज्ञान राधे तन्नय माम but if it will get your mercy, I'll say that I have made that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, you are so merciful. He came penniless in Western country and Western countries. And very quickly he get the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Guru Prabhu. Why? Why he came? To make some money? Never. Well, he came to help unhappy person because he knew that we are eternal servant of Krishna. By using, using our freedom, independent, yes, 
and whole world is now unhappy. Forgetting Krishna forever. Using their intelligence to be happy, but never be happy. So she can become alone, like a beggar. And you know from beginning how he came to Boston and from there he came to New York. And he began his movement. So he was so merciful. He translated so many books, Gita, Kirtanu Chaitanya, so many books he wrote, Bali Parash. He translated Chaitanya Chaitanya. And this, if you will read, you will see that. All the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the teachings of Ruth and Ravana, in all those things are there. Everything is there. The teachings of Sarupdhanda, Rayana, and in all writings, Krishnadas Purushana has written all the dialogues, all the teachings, and in the last he has written Sri Chastra. It is the essence of all the Veda, demon of Srimad Bhagavata and Athlete. But we cannot know if you are not in the higher class of association. He has told me, that Krishna name is transcendental, Purna Mukta, Suddha, and transcendental. It cannot be touched by your tongue, mortal tongue, mind, and senses. How we can touch? Like a given process. Through Guru Parampara. The first half of all, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, he has told so much about Guru Tantra. And after that, he has told our object that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to be that object in Adi 3 and 4. That our object is love and affection of Krishna. And then how to attain? I have told him, Rup Siksha, Sanatana Siksha, in dialogue of Raya Ramananda and Mahaprabhu, in the Rathya Jatra and in the last, in the cave, Gambhira, he told to Rai Ramananda and Suna Suna Kirupa Laila Nam Prem Upaja Tahar Sarup Lakhan Suna Nam Tahar Sarup Lakhan He is telling to Sarup Damodha In Nai to Sarup Damodha Tirupa Laila Nam Prem Upaja. In what process we will take in Krishna? Then Prem can come. And then he began to describe Sikh Shastra, especially that is slow. Tina Dapi Suni Chena Taro Rapi Sahishuna Amanila Amanadi what is the meaning? One should be more humble than the blade of grass. 
If one steps on the blade of grass, it does not spring back. Tororapi sahishnuna, one should be more tolerant than the tree. The tree, even if someone comes to cut it, it does not withdraw its shade. Amanina, one should not ask any honor from anyone else. Our Swami Maharaj has sometimes said, command respect, don't demand respect. Manadena, give all respect to others. Kirtaniya Sadahari, thus one can always chant the name of Hari. We are chanting them. But are you following this process? Even you try to do and chant her name like this, being so humble, more than a cross, tolerance more than a tree, his bark, his seed, his leaves, the juice, fruits, everything is for others. His life, everything. If you are like this and chanting the memory, then giving honor to others and no hope of taking any honor from others. And if you are doing like this, chanting, must Krishna Prem must come. So it is our defect, not of defect of Krishna name, that all so many persons chanting from since last twenty years, twenty-five years, and rejecting Krishna after that. They but no they no don't realize anything from Krishna. So be like this, and you should to realize yourself. So Nityananda Prabhu raising his hand in his car, he said, Oh, let me hear. If you are chanting Krishna name, Gaur name, I am responsible for that, that you must be happy. And if you are not happy, I am responsible. But we are not carefully chanting and remembering. So I think that it will be very beneficial to us that we should read, we should remember the pastimes of devotees, how they develop their Krishna consciousness, how they chant, in what process. Like Prahlad Maharaj, Chitra Ketan Maharaj, and Srimad Bhagavatam, and all others, Bharat Maharaj, without attachment, holding attachment, living. And the life and history of Rukh Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Haridas Thakur, like this. It will give you a process that how they proceed. Now, today we will discuss about Rupa and Sanatana Goswami. Both were brothers and how they left their houses and jobs and they come to, came to Vinda in the part they did. We should try to know. Who will narrate you? You? Oh, yes, you did. Try to hear very carefully. As if you are going to follow in such a way. Rupa and Sanatana. Met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Ramakali. And they both decided they were government men at the time. They worked for the government, for the Muslim government. And after meeting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they both decided to stop everything and join the Lord. So Rupa Goswami 
took all of his wealth, he had two boatloads of wealth, and he divided it 50% to the Brahmanas and Vaishnavas, 25% for relatives, and 25% he kept for personal safety because he knew that he would need it for some uh, legal expenditures. Then Sanatana Goswami, and he decided to just quit everything and join Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sanatana Goswami was working for the Nawab, the governor of Bengal, and he knew that the governor was very pleased with him and depended on him. So in order to quit his service, because he was second in charge, he wanted to do something to make the Nawab angry. So on the plea of bad health, he stayed at home and studied Srimad Bhagavatam with some Brahmanas. Before this, Rupa and, Goswa and uh, Rupa and Sanatan got some Brahmanas to perform uh, Vedic rituals for them and chant and pray for them that they would be free from all obstacles to meet Lord Chaitanya. So the governor sent some doctors to the house of Sanatan to see about his health, but the doctors reported that he was fine and that he was, instead of lying and being sick, he was studying the Bhagavatam. So the Nawab personally came to his home and finding him in that condition became very angry and told them that I can't conquer other king kingdoms uh, without your help of being responsible here while I'm gone. So he put him, he was so angry that he put him under arrest and sent him to jail. So this money that Sri Rupa Goswami, they weren't Goswamis at the time, but uh, Rupa and Sanatan were brothers, and Rupa Goswami had left, uh, had deposited 10,000 gold coins with a local grocer because he had some idea that Sanatan would need it. And he wrote to Sanatan uh, after having found out Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's itinerary and asked uh, Sanatan to get out of jail and come and meet them. So Sanatan Goswami uh, offered the jail keeper uh, 5,000 gold coins and the jail keeper was very hesitant and afraid he might be caught then 7,000 and then finally 10,000. Then the jail keeper agreed. He said, Sanatan said, just tell them that you took me out because I had to go to the bathroom and then with my chains I jumped in a river and probably drowned. So the jail keeper agreed and Sanatan escaped and uh, he was going towards Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Rupa, in the meantime, uh, Rupa and his other brother Anupama was Sri Balab they went to Prayag because they found out from sending messages to Jagannath Puri that they could meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Prayag. So they did that and offered him obeisances there and it was there that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, gave him the Rupa Shiksha, taught him devotional service from the beginning, first how the living entities are traveling through the species and then about the um, steps of devotional service service starting from when the guru gives the seed of bhakti and then the disciple becomes a gardener and plants that seed in his heart. In the meantime, Sanatana Goswami and his servant Ishan were also trying to meet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and gradually Sanatana became more and more uh, renounced, giving up his gold coins and giving up his servant and giving up everything and he finally met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Tupan Mishra's house, and he also at that time received instructions from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What did, can you tell Rupa Shiksha what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told to Rupa Goswami? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed Rupa Goswami in many things which are elaborated in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu that I will not describe, but primarily five things Nam Kirtan, Sadhu Sangha, Nam Kirtan, Bhagavata Shravana, 
Mathura Vasana Srimurti Rishraddhai Sevan. And Srila Rupa Goswami has described these things also. Sadhu Sangha means to associate with Swajati Asa Yesnigde Sadhu Sangha Swatovade. Three characteristics, also three types of Sadhu Sangha. Nam Kirtan, always chanting the holy name. Bhagavata Shravana, Rupa Goswami has described Srimad Bhagavata Padartanam Rasikai Saha. To hear the deep meanings of each line of the Bhagavata in association of Rasik Vaishnavas. Who can give, like Shukadev Goswami, the meaning of Rasa Tattva? And Matura Vasana, to always reside in Sri Vrindavan Dham and Sri Murti Shraddhai Sevan, to serve the deity or Tosi with great faith and devotion. He also instructed Rupa Goswami in Advaya Gyan Paratattva, explaining that Sri Krishna, according to Vedanta, Shakti Shakti Matur Abheda, that between Krishna and Krishna Shakti, no difference. How there is Krishna and Krishna Shakti, and they are not separate. But for the purpose of pastimes, Krishna, Radha, they are separate. And that Krishna's energy is further divided. One Parashakti that is divided in Parashakti in Antaranga Shakti, Tatasta Shakti, which is the living entity, and Bahiranga Shakti, which is the Chaya Shakti or Maya Shakti. And furthermore, the Antaranga Shakti, internal energy, is divided as Hladini Shakti, Sandhani Shakti, and Samvit Shakti. All these things Maharaj was describing in Varsana. And all these things that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave in teachings to Rupa Goswami. Elaborately, from beginning, Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai, what did I have given to me on this year? I think I can actually make it on you at this year. She will be doing it. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In his conversation with Sri Rupa Goswami, he began telling him that how the living entity, which is part and parcel of Krishna, is very tiny. So tiny that if we divide the tip of the Thus hair... they told that Bhakti Ras, like an endless, deepless ocean, I'm giving only one drop of two. And then he began. So he told that the living entity, which is very minute, is compared to the size is compared that if we divide the one, the tip of the hair into 100 parts, and then each part again we divide into 100 parts, then that is the size of the living entity. So this whole world is filled with living entities, and. Generally, they are divided into two categories, sthavar and jangam, moving and non-moving. Again, those who are moving, they are divided into three categories, that some are in the air, some are in the water, and some are on the earth planet. And out of these, there are so many species, namely, on, in numbers, 84 lakh species, and among these, those are human beings, they are very small in number, very small. And out of these human beings, most of them are faithless. They have no proper conception of God. They don't believe in God because they don't have proper knowledge. And very few are those who have some conception and some faith that there is a supreme being who controls everyone and the entire universe. Now. Out of these people who are following some amount of religion or who follow the authority of Vedas, there are very few 
who actually follow Vedas in real sense. Others, they claim or they say, but they don't actually follow. And then Mahaprabhu said that there's so many people who are karmis or jnanis or yogis, but all of them, because they do not follow the pure path of bhakti or devotion, they are always disturbed, they are never peaceful. Only the devotees of Krishna who are following the path of Shuddha Bhakti are peaceful. And then, Brahmanda Brahmite Kono Bhagyavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadipai Bhakti Lata Beej. Then Mahaprabhu said, out of these so many living entities who are going one after another, transmigrating into so many different life species, because because of their past karmas, sometimes becoming a king, sometimes going in heavenly planets, taking the position of Indra, sometimes going in more higher planetary system, even sometimes taking the position of Brahma, and coming down sometimes in the form of insects. And also, in all these species, they go through so many sufferings, so many sufferings and happiness situations, and thus always disturbed by the threefold mysteries of this material world. By some fortune, by the arrangement of Bhakti Devi, if they come in contact with those who are pure sadhus in any way, or they come in touch with some activities which are related with temple, kirtan, shravan kirtan, smaran bandhan, all these activities, then they accumulate some sukritis or pious impressions which upon accumulated in a sufficient amount, give them the merit that they can associate with sadhus. So these fortunate living entities, those who have accumulated so much merit in pious activities that they can attain the association of sadhus, they are very fortunate. Why? Because then they receive the seed, bhakti lata bij, the seed of the creeper of devotion. And what is that seed of the creeper of devotion? The seed is the desire to serve Krishna. The pure devotees who have realized Krishna completely, they are fully established in their relationship with Krishna. They have the power to implant that seed. What in is the that seed? That Krishna Seva Vasana, desire to serve Krishna, that comes in the form of Shraddha. Shraddha is... Shraddha coming from the spiritual master. Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata. By the mercy of Krishna. Guru and, and Guru. And Bhakti Shraddha is not like mundane faith. Mm -hmm. It is coming from the divine plane, mm -hmm. combined Samvit and Hladini Shakti. Yeah. So these things come together in the heart as Shraddha, that is the seed. A so-called Guru, not realized uh, Bhakti, he cannot be the seed of Bhakti. The desire to serve Krishna, only high class of devotee, Realize devotee, they can be. So nowadays, lakhs and lakhs so called gurus, even not coming in Madhya Madhika, offensing, not serving their guru dev, how can they be this transcendental shraddha, desire to serve Krishna? If they had in their heart, how they can fail, fall down, fall down? They can never be fall down. But we are seeing that for thousands and thousands of devotees, renounced order, even Brahmachari, even, doing so much preaching here, there, making so much money, and they fell down. The real Guru cannot fall down, never because he is serving Krishna. So he can give this desire to serve Krishna to other devotees, those who are not serving Krishna. So he should be how much qualified you can yourself 
When this fortunate living entity receives this seed of the creeper of devotion of Bhakti Lata Bij, which is the desire to serve Krishna, then there are some symptoms which are exhibited in the behavior of this devotee. And what are those symptoms? It is said that he will have firm faith in the words of his Gurudev, firm faith in the verdict of Shastras that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and only and only by serving Krishna all the other activities and obligations are automatically performed and one does not need to make any separate endeavor to please anyone. This way. Oh, you are hearing what he told? Silence, uh, what he, he, he told? That uh, someone who has Shraddha has got faith in Gurudev and in the scriptures, that uh, uh, he will be unwavering. Hmm. If transcendental Shraddha <coughs> comes in, you need to talk to him. Well, very strong belief in the words of his Gurudev. In the words of all epics, especially Srimad Bhagavad, and the words of Krishna, what he has said. It may be that so many problems may come, but he cannot change his faith. Because he, know, he knows very strongly what, that if I am serving Krishna, my whole life will be successful. Krishna Bhakti Kaide Sarva Karma Karma of this thing. So, if you want to be a devotee, first three things should come to you. Never depreciate from this thing. Otherwise, no transcendental sadhā, no desire of serving Krishna, they cannot come to your guru. So, first this is me. Then what afterwards? And then in the association of pure devotees, the fortunate living entity or the person who has received this Bhakti Lata Beach, he implants that seed in his heart. And like a very expert gardener, he nourishes that with properly uh, giving timely giving water and protected it from so much burn or from other animals, fencing it. And what are those things? Shravana Kirtana Jale Koroi Sinchan that by constant hearing and chanting he nourishes the plant and that chanting and hearing has to be uh, very carefully observed and performed because if he is not careful of the water with which he is uh, nourishing the plant then the water may get uh, damaged or uh, insects may come upon that uh, plant. For example, if the water is salty or the water is contaminated with so many acids and other things, then it will ruin the plant. That means the shravan or association of those devotees who themselves are not fixed in Krishna consciousness, who are not aware of the established truths, those who have desire for mukti or bhukti and they don't have proper knowledge of bhakti ras what Sri Rupa Goswami has mentioned, or they are not in the proper line of Sri Rupa Goswami, then hearing from them will gradually, gradually uproot the seed completely and burn it. And if anyone having so many worldly desires, so many desires, and he chanting, remembering, what will be the use of that? Prem will not come. If, anyhow, this Shraddha, Raya Shraddha has come in our heart. Any pure devotees has given this seed and we have planted here. But lack of association, lack of hearing Hari Katha, our this 
श्रद्धा और डिजैक्ट टू सब कृष्ण थैंक यू यू कैन रियलाइज दैट स्वामी जी कैन एंड ही गेट दिस स्पिरिट दिस डिजैक्ट टू ऑल लैक्स एंड लैक्स पर्सन दैट वी शुड सर्व कृष्ण बट पार्ट पी कैम आफ्टर हिज डिपार्चर there was none to give water like hari katha and lack of this they their shraddha desire to serve krishna gracefully gracefully they can do and destroy some not fully destroyed but lack of associates they become very lean and thin They were in doubt what to do, what to do, where to go. But when again any association will come, and they will hear, again they will inspire. They will be inspired. So, but if you are associating even, but you are also associating with bad person, doing offences. Having so many unearth, unwanted things, and you are chanting, <coughs> but it will be of no fruit. It may be that offence, like a mad elephant, it will come and uproot this. So very carefully, just to try to avoid all these things, and chant and remember in the association of high class of person. What are the things? <coughs> some things are like to cut down, and something to uproot. What are these things? What is this? So, when this plant or bhakti lata beads is implanted and it's gradually developing, and so many beautiful leaves are coming, then around this plant, there's so many other imitating uh, plants are also coming up, or like there is example of one grass which is called shama grass the name of the grass around it there's so many other uh, kind uh, this comes up in the field of uh, paddy fields so an expert gardener what what does he do he very carefully uproots these grasses which are around the plant <coughs> he's very careful because they are surrounding it very closely they are like oh bhakti Also, like creeper, but they are harmful for that. What are they? What are they? Arup Siddha, Arup Siddha Bhakti, Sangha Siddha Bhakti. What are they? Not actually Sarup Siddha Bhakti, but they seems like bhakti. And if anyone get trace on there, making boarding schools. Doing so many activities, making garden, social, social works, then bhakti can be destroyed. So we should be very careful. In beginning, it may be some help, helpful, helpful, very little, helpful, but not actually helpful. So we should try to be helpful and gracefully. वे सुख कम इन स्वरूप सिद्धा भक्ति सर्वणम कीर्तनम स्मरणम आर्चन इज लाइक ऑल्सो श्रवण एंड कीर्तन देर आर टू कैंड ऑफ लाइक रूप सनातन और लाइक लोकनाथ दास गोस्वामी और वे चैंटिंग अलोम एंड अदर रूप गोस्वामी हरिदास ठाकुर Like other, hmm? preaching also and also chanting the like method. Two, hmm? two methods. Yeah. We can, yeah. we can follow all these processes. Uh, follow all these processes. After that, and there is another kind of uh, beads which have to be carefully taken, but. If we uproot them, then the bhakti lata beach or the creeper will come out, will be uprooted. So they have to be gradually and timely trimmed. 
like so many other stems. And if they are not cut timely, then the main creeper will not grow and it will become more weak and weak and thin. So this means that as long as we are not completely liberated, some amount of karma or gyan has to be followed. But then that should not cover our bhakti lata beach. For example, Rupa Goswami has given this definition, Anya Abhilashita Shunyam Gyan Karmati Napritam Anukulin Krishna Anushilanam Bhakti Uttama. So, in this definition of bhakti, he is very nicely explaining that how carefully we should remove all the desires which are against the desire to serve Krishna. The performance of cultivation of activities from bo of body, mind and words which are pleasing to Krishna should be completely uncovered from karma and jnana. He is not saying to completely give up, anabrit, because if we completely give up, then we cannot live anymore in this world. So for some time, for some uh, development till a certain stage when Sarup Siddhi has not been attained, there is some need of karma and jnana, but it should never cover our bhakti. And any other desire, for example, desire for sense gratification or desire for liberation, all these things should be very carefully dragged away from the path of devotion. And these activities should be pleasing to Krishna. Anukulin Krishna Anushilanam. Pleasing to Krishna means that for the well-being of Krishna. Because if we just take the meaning pleasing, then Sri Vishnu Chakrati Thakur has given two examples in Bhakti Samrit Sindhu Bindu that when Krishna came to Mathura and he was fighting in the wrestling arena with Chanur and Mushtik, then he was feeling very happy and he was enjoying the rasa of chivalry and he was very very pleased. So if we take the definition of Bhakti that the meaning of Anukulya word is pleasing then it seems that Charun and Mushtik, they are great devotees of Krishna. But actually it's not the fact. Why? Because they have the desire to kill Krishna. They are not just sporting or playing or enhancing Krishna's pleasure, but they have an evil interest that if they can, they will kill Krishna. So this is not bhakti. And on the other hand, Mother Yashoda, when she is feeding her breast milk to Krishna, then she notices that nearby on the flame the milk is boiling over and for Krishna's benefit or nourishing him for his good health she needs that milk. Her breast milk is not enough to make sweets and so many preparation for Krishna. So she puts aside Krishna and then goes to subside the milk. But then in this act Krishna becomes displeased because he's not yet satisfied by drinking the milk of her mother. So he shows some anger and displeasure. Now if we take the definition of bhakti pleasing, then it seems that Mother Yashoda is not devotee or her activity is not devotion. So the word pleaser, pleasing is not the complete definition. It has the faults of avyapti and ativyapti. So anukulye simply means that which is devoid of averse or opposite feelings. It should be favorable completely favorable and beneficial for Krishna. But at the same time, if we just say that it has to be beneficial and favorable and devoid of opposite mood, then even so many, like for example this table, it doesn't have any bad or opposite feeling for Krishna. But at the same time, there is no favorable activities, anushilan. The performance of culti the cultivation of favorable activities is not seen. So, at the same time, by body, mind and words... Are you understanding part here, Chan? Part? He is explaining that uh, not only anukulyena, that bhakti should be performed favorably, but together it must be anushilanam, constant, continuous cultivation of bhakti, otherwise if we take only anukulyena, then there may be the fault of avyakti or ativyakti, not fully accepting or over acceptance will be there. We will not be fully. Also, the, uh, what he told in last, 
that he only we will see that he should not be unfavorable to Krishna. It will it is not sufficient. We should always try to do something for Krishna. <coughs> Krishna Anushilan should be done. And Kulena this is not sufficient. We should do in affirmative. Always trying to please Krishna by your activities of mind, soul, senses, mood, by effort. Then we should be done. If you are not doing, only protecting that, oh, I should not offend. I should be always pure. This will not do only. You will have to and the world by all means, by all our chest. And the world. Then it will be pure. Then by performing this definite, uh, performing bhakti according to... If anyone has been initiated by any guru, and guru has somewhat parading with an, another devotee, and guru is telling that, I am ordering you, you should obey me and abuse this devotee, and or beat this devotee, insult this devotee. What is this activity? Should we follow him or not? Hmm? What should we do? We should follow our Guru or not? Absolutely. Yes, order is order. But you will have to see whether my Guru is bona fide Guru or his orders are bona fide according to Shastra or not. If Guru is ordering that, oh, you should insult this, though he is high class of devotee, but he is my enemy. It means he is not pure devotee. And his order is out of, against Shastra. So we should try to give up that bogus group. A Guru cannot tell like this. He cannot go and give order that he is my enemy. Never. Nor I do this thing. Never told like that. For Durjodhan even, he wanted to insult them all. But he used to tell him, Shu Yodhan, not Durjodhan. Bharat Bhar, Bharat. Oh, in third birth, how he was dealing. No enemy at all. So any pure devotee has no enemy. If an insult, like Haridas Thakur was insulted, and he was praying to Krishna, Oh Krishna, forgive me. So if a guru is doing like this, thinking that, Oh, this devotee is my enemy, and you should beat him, insult him, or do offensive things, no harm. And devotee that thinks that, Oh, my guru has order like this, so whether I will go to hell, I should obey my Guru. Then the Guru and Chela both like blind persons. Together they will go to a very special kind of help forever. And then bhakti will go. No bhakti. So Krishna has given this intelligence and it has given in Shastra. So we should try to realize. If a Guru is like that, at once quickly we should give up these Gurus bogus gurus, and we should try to initiate by other high class of people. Everywhere in Shastra it has written, in Hari Bhakti Vlas, Sanatam Goswami has written, in Srimad Bhagavat it has written, in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, everywhere. So we should try it. If you have done, uh, when you knew nothing about Bhakti, in ignorance you accepted a guru like this. But after that, hearing from here and there, you realize that all, all this Guru cannot be. Krishna praying at once quickly this way. And he, he cannot give praying, but he is favorable. 
not offen making offenses and other things, then he should be respected. And by his, by his con consent. consent. Oh, today I want to associate with this high class of the world. Please give me order. Permission. Permission. That if Guru is not giving order, then you should think that, oh, this Guru is also bogus. We should be. And if his Guru is telling that, oh, I don't know all these things, you can go and you can associate and also tell to me what he is telling. <laughs> <laughs> then respect that Guru and you can associate and think in him like he might also Guru and that my Siksha. Like Srinivasa Acharya, Samananda Prabhu, and Narottam Thakur. They were permitted by their Guru to associate with Jiva Goswami. And they respected Jiva Goswami more than their Guru. But their Guru Dev also became so happy. And Jiva Goswami never told that you should be initiated again by me. No. So we should try to read very deeply and realize all these special truths. And then we should adopt any possible means. process and means that we should go to Krishna. We should achieve. This is our object. If anyone helping, then he is really good. And if he is engage, engaging us in worldly things as his own property to disciples, then he is following him. He must be me. So we should consider all these things. Anything which is coming like a problem in bhakti, we should. And directly we should go. Those who are giving pure bhakti, they should be honored. Oh, we should not think that this is his line, guru line, and he is. We are all in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu line. Always we should go. We are property of Krishna. We are family of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And this we should try to develop our Krishna family. This is our end and if anything, unwanted thing, you should approve. And if it is bhakti, but not suddha bhakti, pure, sarup siddha bhakti, arup siddha. Tamiji has not engaged in arup siddha for always. In beginning, if it was some helpful in beginning. Oh, to, to distribute books. No, there is no way on, 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 on any other means that a new coming devotee should. I want. So he told him, but you should not read that book. He never told like this. You should go in that nectar and you should realize yourself and then distribute. It will be of more help. He told me that I will make boarding and that I will supply beef even wine also. Cigarette also, smoking also, I will allow it. But he told me that I am, I was sure that if they will chant and remember, quickly they will be changed. And they were changed. He made, you know, so many hippies. <laughs> so many hippies. They are also here, those who were at first hippies. And now they are becoming teachers. So he, he can do. But we should not be engaged. Hmm? That always doing the same class, always. Hmm? We should try to know that bhakti is like a stream, always moving, moving. Always going moving. towards Krishna, love, perfection. So if our bhakti is a stop, we have no taste in chanting, remembering bhakti. Then we should try to know that, oh, there is some Look at how. Look. How to make it? You cannot repair, so you must go to your superiors and 
very good. It's very quickly. There is no other. So, by this way, the Bhakti Kripa goes to where? Vaikuntha. And also cross. Huh? It goes across. What is the meaning of this? Bhakti, after this world, it crosses this world, Brahman, and then quickly goes to Vaikuntha, or always uh, also crosses. What is the meaning? Srila Raghunath Swami, he is explaining Sri Manakshiksha. Apichakshva Lakshmati Itavyoma Nainim. That one should give up any attachment for Lakshmati, Lord Narayan. If anyone's goal is fixed, that I want Then, if Narayan coming, and tell him that if you should serve me in Bhakti, then Raghunath Das Goswami said, So Raghunath Das Goswami, he's saying that one should give up um, attachment for Lakshmi Pati, for Lord Narayan, meaning that one who has fixed the sadhya, which is um, to achieve Vraj Bhakti, that even if one is offered um, elevation to Vaikuntha, one will not accept that, but rather one will only um, um, be satisfied with Vraj Prem. In Govardhan, um, Maharaj has explained that when one um, is performing Govardhan Parikram, that Govardhan is very merciful and can fulfill so many desires. And so many people may come with um, material desires or what have you. But he said that one who is doing Govardhan Parikram under his guidance, that then they should only have one desire and that um, that is one day to achieve um, this position of Paliyadasi, to be a maid servant of Srimati Radhika. If man is a uh, devotee, and he is sadhu, and he is uh, reading and meditating this slow of Vyomanen, that I don't want. But he is here in this world very attached to wealth and always he is engaged in making money. Can he achieve that? He is meditating that he does not want. Huh? You say he is meditating that he does not want like No, no, no. He does not want this. But at the same time, reciting always that. But he is. He are in this world, always making, without make, without money, I cannot uh, maintain my life, my children's and wife and... Then. No, he cannot achieve, because that stage is, is much lower than this attachment to Lakshmi Pati. What should he should do? He should give up everything, or what should he <laughs> So he should perform Sharanagati at the lotus feet of Gurudev, and he should perform his bhajan under his guidance, and he will guide him how he should act accordingly. In first stage, he should remember Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Manasa Deha Veha Jyotish Mor Arpinu Tuha Pada Saranagati like this. By all our Krishna possessions. Uh, yes, like this. And my sansari is like this. And after some when he will realize, then he will have whole faith. He may do like Prabhupada Das Goswami, Rupa Goswami, right? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. What he did? He got left everything. But when? Oh, Krishna, oh, Krishna. Not in beginning. beginning. When he was not matured, he was there. And he also told Raghunath Das Goswami to be there. But for not forever, when it will be matured, automatically, like a ripened mango, it gives up his branch and come down. And this will come quickly. Krishna is arranged and he will 
like Sukhdev Goswami, like Mahaprabhu himself. He knew that uh, we should try to maintain Krishna Shansha. My wife is also eternal servant of Krishna. My mother, my brother, and everything. But why he could not maintain like this? Because he was so much as your wife died, he was so much perfect. He was himself Krishna. To show the way he did. So we should try to go deep in all writings, especially in Rup Shiksha. And after that, again, Brahman, then Vaikunt, even if Narayan comes and tells that, Oh, I am very satisfied. I want that you should serve me. And you will be so much appellated. Having so much appellated. I will give all power to you. I don't want. Like Gopkumar. Remember Gopkumar? Be like Gopkumar. If you are in Narandham Vaikuntha, all the chanting of Gopkumar. Not satisfied with Narayan. Whether he comes with his own associate like Gop and Krishna, even he can take flow, but no chance. And after that, then Golok Vrindavan. Krishna Charan Kalpurikhe Koroi Arohan. So after that, the creeper of bhakti further develops and then it enters in the realm of Golok Vrindavan, where it takes shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. Srila Gurudev explained earlier that up till Vaikuntha, the creeper of devotion does not need any sport and it is going on and it's uh, developing more and more. Just like in the, in the stage of a plant when it is very small and it's coming up, especially the creeper, then it's going, growing on its own. But after a while, it needs some sport. So then in Guru Vrindavan, the creeper or the Bhakti Lata takes shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. And then, Prem Phal Pakipare Mali Aswadai Lata Avlambi Mali Kal Pravikhapai. Then, when this creeper further grows and so many sweet fruits of love are fructified on this creeper, then what happens? Still, the Mali or the gardener or sadhak is in this world and it's pra he's practicing. What is the meaning? He is in this world and he is testing <coughs> the fruits coming down from here. What is the meaning? <coughs> what meaning? It means right. he's not in his Vastu city yet. He's still uh, like a Raghunuga Bhakta. He's still doing sadhana, entering Bhav, but he hasn't in his spiritual form yet, so he's still here. Oh, he's testing the fruit. Because he's getting Krishna manifest in his heart. Huh? So, though he is in this world, now he became Sarup Siddhi. He became? He attained Sarup Siddhi. So, being in this world, the Krishna's pastimes manifest in his heart like a chain without an interruption. So being here, he attend there also and taste all pastimes like he, Krishna's eternal associates. And from here he sat and taste by Ashtakadiya Vida, descending from there in their house. With an it will come in Suddha Sattva. Yes. What you are telling? Hmm. Vladini and Sambit and Vladini, Vladini, essence of Sambit and Vladini. This will come. But when it will come, when it, they will go to Bhav Bhakti, not less than, they should at least be on that platform of Bhav Bhakti, then it will come. So, here thing, living, practicing here like Rupa Nagunathi in yes. Yasdhavan. But how? Sankhya Purvak Nama Gana Nativi Kala Vasani Vito Nidraha Vihara Kadi Vijito Chattanta Dino Chaju Radha Krishna Gunasmati Mudrina Nande Samo Hito Bande Rupasanatano Rubu Jugo Sri Bhagopal Lopani You know this is Lok? 
you know? Have you heard? Maybe. Have you heard this Eshlo with any devotee? Well, she is very new. Like uttering that out. Oh. I know you do that a lot. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Indra Hara Vihara Kadi. That all these things, sleeping, eating, recreation, they conquered over all these things. And what were they doing? Radha Krishna Gunasmater Madhuriman and Dana Sammohitao. That they were always absorbed, enchanted, completely in remembering the qualities of Sri Sri Radha Krishna. Sankhya Purvaka Nama Gananatibi Kalavasani Kritao. That externally they were doing what? Chanting the holy names so many times every day, so many lakhs every day. Keeping fixed around us. Not less than one life. Never. And doing dandavat, lakhs and lakhs time. And? And always sinking internally in the past times of Radha and Krishna. And sometimes, oh, uh, what? Uh, Radha? Radha Kuntate Kalindatanya Tire Chavansi Pate Premun Mat Vasesh Asya Sometimes on Radha Kuntate, sometimes on Nandana, Varsana, and in the valley of Govardhan. What? He Radhe, He Prajadevike, He Nanda Suno, Ho Vaj, Ho Krishna, Ho Radhike. In Bhava Bhuto, no external anything. Making, rolling down like this. Oh, this is process. We should try to accept. But we want to be very far away from association. They want to be independent, not any guidance. We want to control even Guru, all devotees. We don't want to be controlled by them. These are the things. How we can achieve? So try to be a disciple, real disciple, and to follow all these things. Then quickly we can achieve anything. Other why is you cannot achieve? And you will say that, oh, this is due to my guru, and this is due to my karma, and mm, Krishna has, Krishna name has no power, bhakti has no power, and all bluffing. <coughs> and quickly you will return. So try to follow all this. What you said about, before about if your guru says to offend a Vaishnava, that you should reject him. So in the Madhulila chapter 1, when Lord Chaitanya tells his disciples, tells his followers like Srut Damodar and Rai Ramananda to bless Rupa and Sanatan, who was just uh, initiated uh, by heart, um, our Prabhupada writes in the purport that uh, a Vaishnava Acharya is self-effulgent and there is no need for any high court judgment. A false Acharya may try to override a Vaishnava by a high court decision. But Bhaktivinoda Thakur says that he is nothing but a Kali Chela or a disciple yes. of Kali. Always you should realize this. He is Kali Chela, not good. He should be do, done pranam like very far away from my there is no relation with the last pranam. <laughs> Sometimes we should do pranam to devils also. And to... Oh, yes, sir, be very far away. Like Maya Devi. Oh, Maya Devi. Oh, be happy to... Please to us. Don't come to me. <laughs> 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 go 
gold praman. Try to remember and try to be a disciple like this. And if you may be a guru, a fortunate to be a guru, then be a guru like this. <laughs> but never think that I am guru. Never, never. Don't try to control any good. Try to follow all these things. ज्ञानी <laughs> If you can explain this purport which she just read about Kali Chela. Oh, easy. Uh, Kali Chela means a disciple of Kali. Kali Yuga is symptomized by quarrel, hypocrisy, cheating. So if someone is presenting himself as a bona fide guru, but he's uh, offending real pure Vaishnavas and trying to stop him by mundane votes, that is he and his associates who are also disciples of Kali Yuga in the name of being guru, then he's not a real guru and he should be rejected and the real self-effulgent self pure devotee Acharya should be followed, who loves all and honors and sees all as eternal servants of Krishna and his family. And what? You? Oh, I, was, I wanted to ask you for advice, because as far as not having association with other devotees, how does one keep the creeper devotion strong? <coughs> What's this? In the absence of good association, how we can keep the creeper of the motion strong? Mm. Yes, I am sir. We should always uh, remember the instructions which we have received in good association from our Gurudev, Vaishnavas, that even we may not always have the fortune to be in that association, when we always keep Sincerely praying from the core of our heart, Krishna, please be so kind, help me to remember you, help me to be in good association. The example is there of Srila Raghunathas Goswami. He so much wanted to be with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But when he <coughs> came in that association and he expressed his desire to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu told him, don't be like a madman. Go home, cultivate your bhakti within your heart, and Krishna will make all the arrangements so that very soon you will come to me and be always in my association. But I have one in one case, one. you had no so much high class of association. At that time, you can see the Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitanya, the books of Swami, like person, like Chaitanya Chaitanya, Raghunath Das Goswami, Rupa Goswami is there. I am here in front of you. are reading the books of Swami, he used to think that, oh, Swami is here and he is teaching us. If you are reading Srimad Bhagavatam, he used to say that Sukhdeva Goswami is getting closer than I'm hearing. So you should think like, oh, I am in, always in association. And when any realized person or very high class of devotee, he is getting class of Srimad Bhagavad Chaitanya Chaitanya, then you should get it. 
with her dead, the best. And always chanting the name. In our uh, Hinduism, Maharaji, we have a lot of deities like Ganesha, Shiva, Parvati, uh, Mata, Ramchandraji, Anumanji, Krishnaji. So how to concentrate on one God and how should we realize one God? Have you read Gita? Yes. Oh, you should try to uh, follow the instruction of Krishna. Japan na devata, yajante, payapi mama kam teva, but agadipurva kam. Oh, you just should try to honor them only, but not worshiping. If you are worshiping with some desires, then you will be like them, and you will have some wealth, a reputation, children, wife, and all this and after some time they will go And you may go to their ropes. But those who are chanting and remembering Vasik meaning, they will go to me in Guru Vrindavan from where never to return. And all they will return. So these are Vasipis are like non dead We should be very careful to be careful. Not to do the always worshipping get all these gods. But you should think Ramachandra and Krishna are one. Krishna has come in manifested in that form of form. form. So no difference. But there is some difference of Lila. Lila. Harman, always the servant of Ram or Krishna. Shankar, servant of Krishna and Ram. So you can think them like a guru. So these are very good teachings. If you are high class of association, and very, very soon you will realize all these things. We have made a temple here named Durga Temple. And so far oh, the, the devotees who want wealth and reputation and worldly things, for them they are. They should do because they are not qualified. So when they will come in association, like you are coming gracefully, then you will give up all these things and one pointed Krishna meditation will be done. Then you will realize all this. Then you will try to obey Krishna, what he is telling in Gita. Even he told that, oh, Narayan is my manifestor. Manifestation. Just sort of be one pointed to me. Oh, Maam Eva Je Prapadyante Maya Meta. Maam Eva Krishna Himself. Then Maam Ekam Saranam Braja. Maam Ekam Natvadas. Uh, also, there is one. Uh, Ananyas Chintayanto. No, Anna. Malit Ma. Oh, she has, he has uh, told so many times. Ma meva, ma meva, ma me ekam, like this. Sarva dharaman paritajya ma me ekam saranam bhajya ma 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 eva jay prapadhyam. You should try to know all these things. Very quickly. In Ramayana also it has been told. That Valli Vasipram, Shankar, Hanuman, and all others are Krishna or Rams, like Peter and Sarkar, high class of Vaishnava. So we should follow all these things. If anyone not going to high class of devotees, or lakhs and lakhs, but may be gone, may, be, may go in worshipping Durga, Kali, Ganesh, Shankar and they will give only worldly things and you will be deprived. Good day, thank you. Uh, how can we uh, give service to Krishna if we are maybe alone? You want to give some service? You know, I know you will have a mana seva and all that, but how can you give the uh, physical service to Krishna and then get his mercy? 
What is that? He is asking how we can practically serve Krishna and receive Krishna's mercy. When you will practically serve your Gurudev, bona fide Gurudev, okay. then you can. How can I? First, try to learn everything by serving, totally, by tongue, mind and all senses. Then gradually you can go. You, if you are galloping, then you will have nothing. You cannot serve. So first, serve Guru Dev, Vaishnavya, and thank Krishna. So the question is, how can I serve you? How I can serve you? How can he serve you? He is asking. Like Raghunath Das Goswami served the Sarv Damodar. Like Jeev Goswami served the Guru Goswami. Like Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur served his Guru Dev. Bhakti Vinod Thakur and Gaut Prishod Das Babaji Maharaj. Like Swamiji served his Guru Dev. There are so many examples. Okay, physically I meet you only maybe once, to, uh, maybe in a year, a few days in a year. He says he will meet you only once a year. A few days. So what he can do the rest of the year? If yeah. there desire, there is way. If no desire, no way. You can serve your wife for whole year. whole year, and why you cannot serve me? For if you want so much high class of wealth, <laughs> why not? Where there is wealth, there, is. there must be. There. So, being there where you are, Oh, gradually, gradually, gradually. He can read your books, he can distribute your books, he can preach, he can listen. And try to follow my instructions in my book. Yes. Okay. Well, one, might, one might understand what to do and, one not, and what not to do, but the determination or desire to follow may not be so strong or may not be there. So, what to do in this situation? Yeah. So, association needed hmm? to be strong, always. If you are out of association, you will be and Maya will but control you. So, always chanting and remembering. So that there should be no hope, no loop and hold that Maya can come. Always engage your mind, your heart, your all senses, everything. Huh? What? Sometimes going sometimes to association uh, of another temple, sometimes that guru or acharya may be preaching, we should uh, help the world. Uh, so many impending disasters are coming, and so we may get there, we may not like to hear that. And so sometimes it's considered that maybe we're being a little If you are sincere, yes. yes. praying to Krishna, praying to Gurudev, any problem cannot come. Hmm. And if a problem coming, oh, Krishna will give intelligence to collect that and gradually will go. So first be Sincere and Saranagata. Surrender. Surrender. That Krishna will protect, me. protect and he will give intelligence. Otherwise, he will not give intelligence if you are independent. Now, we are somehow independent. So try to go that Krishna will come. He is all knowing. What? Omniscient. Omniscient. Very powerful. If you are praying to him sincerely, he will manage everything. Have a belief, a strong belief on that. Maharaj, I have uh, heard so many times, uh, so many times that song by Bhaktivinoda Taku, he sings that we should uh, go to Navadvip and take shelter of Gogadara, but I have never heard anything from I'm sure Prabhupada's books are explaining about the worship of Gogadara. 
So I would like to ask you if Five minutes, you next minute. He's telling that he has heard the song of Srila Bhakti Vinotaku, how we should go to Navadvip and worship Gorgadada, Shishi Gorgadada. But he said, and never he has read in the books of Srila Bhakti Vinota Swami Maharaj that we should do this. Oh, he has told no, 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 no. My question is, the mood of that worship, what is the mood of how we should worship Gorgadada? Because some Vaishnavas, so-called Vaishnavas, they worship Gorgadada like Radha and Krishna. And uh, so what is that? It's different. Not like that. And that is all called Nagari Bhat. Krishna Das Kapiraj Goswami has rejected all our Acharya has. Srila Prabhupada has the result, or Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, and also Sami. So we should try to use that all these things. Gaur Kadadhar is like internally to Radha Krishna, but externally like friends. Always reciting Radha and Krishna past times, weeping, bitterly chanting, always in this. So externally like friends, like Shishya and Guru, Radha Prabhu, he is Shishya, outwardly it seems, but internally Radhika is Guru, that is Radha Prabhu is Guru, Mahaprabhu is Shishya. Always telling, hearing Hari Katha like this. Sometimes Radha Prabhu, on instructing and testing Mahaprabhu whether he is playing my part well or not. And sometimes I rebuke, I rebuke him like a thief. Thief, you know? Oh, you have not played this past time? Oh, you so try today. Varaha Pidam How How he should pronounce it? With weep and weeping and tear and with great And he part he played that part and Mahaprabhu, oh, I have done mistake here and here. <laughs> like this. Tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Uh Gurudev. Now uh Gadara Pandit that story where he went with uh, Mukunda uh, to to the yeah, and then he he thought he was in uh, Maya because he was having so much opulence, and then when he recited the verse, uh, Gadara Pandit got to know oh this person is high, but what is the Leela? Why is he in? A, did he this know the before? Instruction for worldly persons okay. that we should respect high class of devotees. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Well, tomorrow morning, the devotees who are taking initiation should be ready by 6.30. After class, you can all come and uh, meet me, register your name and any advice I can give you before you come tomorrow morning. Well, what does Lila mean? Who is Lila? Lila. Past, you can. Past, past times. The activities of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay. Looks like lust. But consider. Here lust is shadow of bad love and affection. Like dog and beach, there is some lust, but everything is side of that. Uh,